Hi, I'm down here in the dungeon, and it's going to sound like a dungeon. Um, I could put a lapel mic on, but nah, I want it to sound like a dungeon. Anyway, dumpster dive in time. I put this on uh, Twitter. I put it to the vote, and uh, I found this HP ProLiant ML350P Gen 8 server for those playing log at home, and it's a bit beat up, but um, everyone, the majority, said that I should take it. So here it is. Uh, here's the back inside cover of it anyway, um, which is really impressive info for the inside cover. I really like that. Check it out. Anyway, let's get rid of that and have a look at this bad boy. And here it is. It's so big and it's so heavy. Um, they even give you the weight on here and, you know, two people bend your knees. So it weighs anywhere from 20 to 55 kilos and I can tell you it's a lot heavier than 20 kilos. So, um, yeah, but it's not, uh, it's not fully populated at all and it is, unfortunately, banged up. So, yeah, you can see, hopefully, Check that out, look at that. That's just, yeah, it's all bent out of shape and the uh, lid on it and everything is just all banged up like the uh, catch on it and the front panel as well. Um, yeah, it's a little bit, um, a little bit non-linear, let's say. So yeah, it's seen better days, that's broken off. This is, yeah, it's obviously had a rough life. Maybe uh, someone didn't bend their knees and they uh, dropped it. So I've got absolutely no interest in uh, using this thing at all. So what I thought I'd do is, um, well, at least power it up, see if it works, and then, like, uh, you know, just scrap it. Not for parts to use, although the fans, I do like the look of the uh, fans in here. They look uh, pretty impressive, but just the motherboard inside, I don't know, it's just a nice, um, you know, a wall ornament or something. You can hang it on the wall or something. Anyway, let's take Squiz inside. So I know nothing about these. Um, I have found uh, HP uh, Pro, I think, I don't know if they were Pro Liant uh, ones. I think they might have been. Anyway, I'll try and link them in. have found them in the dumpster before. And I actually um, sold them because they were like, uh, I think they were dual Xeon. This is a uh, Xeon bad boy. You might have seen the uh, Xeon uh, sticker on the front. But unfortunately, it's only single. But anyway, I just wanted to show you this. Uh, I haven't taken this out yet, but a fan cage handle, right? It's got four cage um, four fans, and I think this, oh, that just lifts out. And all the plastic in here is so impressive for, um, like, all the uh, thermal management. So they've obviously got, like, a channel in the middle for, like, the dual, uh, for the two CPUs. So it's only got one uh, fitted, and it's only got uh, two uh, memory slots um, occupied. So somebody's taken all the memory out of it, or it had very minimal. Um, but I'd say, yeah, it's only ever had the uh, one... CPU in it, but anyway, this is uh, very impressive, so I'll see if I can get that out. Don't know how, oh yeah, yeah, there we go. So that, yeah, that's, <laughs> that is brilliant. So there's our fan assembly. So what are they? They're a Delta, they're pretty good. So yeah, they look, uh, they look pretty grunty. One of them is, um, they've actually uh, shut it off there and they put a blank cover on it. You can see blank written there. And um, yeah, so definitely, they would go in the fan box, they're really deep, so um, yeah, thick as, look at them. So yeah, you can certainly salvage those fans, and there's that plastic for all you thermal guide aficionados, look at that. I mean, that is just, look, and then, then just, yeah, it's, so whatever came in here, it goes out there like that, so that's like just general, uh, a little bit of general uh, cooling over the um, slots and, and stuff like that. Um, otherwise, yeah, these go directly into the CPU here, and it's got, um, yeah, and they've got silkscreen labels on the plastic as well for the memory slots. There's an announcement being made. I'm down in the dungeon, in the basement car park, two levels underground, um, and yeah, there's, uh, maybe they're going to have a uh, pretend, yep, yeah, pretend fire alarm. Oh God, no, nah, I'm staying. <laughs> I'm sure if there's a voice first and then it does it. Um, yeah, here it goes. Yeah, it's gonna be a test, I'm sure of it. I'm pretty safe down here in the dungeon. She'll be right. I've got an emergency fire exit right next to me. No wackers. Do it. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Murphy, every time, right in the middle of shooting a video. Yeah, thanks a lot. 
Anyway, it gives it a very, um, you know, dungeony, fallout, bunker, fallout, shelter kind of <laughs> vibe to the video. Anyway, here we go. We've got a single uh, Xeon CPU. It's got the original plastic uh, cover on there. So, geez, they're beefy clips, aren't they? So, yeah, I think... Oh, shut up. Um, <laughs> so, I think it's... Uh, yeah, it's never had the uh, second CPU installed. Oh, we got a bonus bracket. Yeah, I don't know anything about these, but uh, they are very nice. Like, so there's attention to detail here. You can see the foam around there, and there's cables going through those little foam uh, penetrator things. That just um, keeps the airflow in this um, side of the unit. So anyway, I like how the motherboard, big card edge jobby here, and that goes into this uh, riser board here, which has all the uh, power stuff going into it and there's two unpopulated ones over here i guess you'd only need those if you got you know extra like uh cards and the second cpu and uh stuff like that i think there's oh well, yeah let's have a look at the back there you go it's got a uh, pull out power supply does that yeah there we go pull out power supply so that's a 460 watt jobby it's upside down so all the electrons are going to fall out um and yeah you can put a second uh one in there as well and it's got the VGA, it's got various uh, LANs, I assume they're like gigabit, whatever. Um, no USB 3s, because this ain't, uh, this is just a server, so you know, only for like keyboard or other um, stuff, I guess. And a uh, serial, um, so you can, you know, get in, you know, for all the console fanboys and all that sort of stuff, I guess. So it does have a lot of uh, memory slots, jeez, six on each side of the um of each cpu so there's 24 memory slots total i my old editing machine if you remember that one i was running 128 gigs of ram in that sucker and that was a dual um xeon um editing machine but my current one is my current uh, amd jobby is faster than that and uh well actually i'll leave the I'll leave the memory in there i presume they left two four gig there you go so we've got eight uh, gig Total, I presume they're the correct slot because um, if somebody was going to steal the RAM out of it, they would have um, stolen the whole lot. They wouldn't have just left two in there like that. So I presume um, it's only ever run single CPU, um, the uh, two slots. So that's like absolute bare bones minimum configuration. Riser board here, what does that do? Don't know what that does. I'd have to follow the money. Looks like it did go over to a battery backup there so like this cable i think i followed it back and it goes in the top there so anyway huh, that's interesting um what else we got in here there the uh going over to the hard drive array over to the other side which we'll have a look at you know just pan around for those fanboys who want the details but here you go anyway it's got uh, two four five um pci slots either side so that's pretty impressive there you go so anyway i don't think there's any hard drives in it the hard drive bay is here so let's see if that comes out there we go front panel and there's no dust in this thing either like it's <laughs> it's super clean and there's the array there and uh that's no, no, no. oh oh flippity oh no look look we we have a drive we have a drive, wow. Wow, um, hello, we have another one. Hello, we have, an, we have a complete RAID array. Wow, uh, what's that? Uh, 900, I don't know what size that jobby is. But there you go, they got um, SATA um, a drive, we've got a complete array of HP SATA drives. Wow, they didn't bother, they did not bother to, hang on, oh, hang on, oops. Surely they actually erased them. I mean, you wouldn't be that stupid, would you? Um, I mean, that's, you know, that's IT security 101. Jeez, anyway, that's a complete array in there. I mean, you know, I'm sure it's slow as a wet week and it's no good, etc., etc. Anyway, um, so these are just cover plates, a little DVD drive. Anyway, um, I reckon we power it up and see what's what. All right, we've got VGA, keyboard. All right, let's see, I'll plug it in. And, oh, hello. I see some green 
Green LEDs over there. That's good. That's good. I mean, is it going to power up without the fan thing in there? Should I? Yeah, hang on. I'll plug the fans in. There we go. Because we want to hear this bad boy power up. So, hit the button on the front. Yeah, uh, yeah, we've got orange, orange button on the front. So, I'll hit that. Woo! <laughs> hey! It's like a jet taking off. Is my monitor on? Come on. Thought my monitor was on. Come on. Yay, of course it works. Of course it works. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. They, they always work from the dumpster. 2013 BIOS. Uh, early processor initialization. Processing log. Da -da -da. Status code. Why isn't it uh, fitting the screen? That's annoying. Auto adjustment. Ah, oh, there you go. The monitor, I think the monitor just auto adjusted. HP Pro Lions. We're in. We're in the smart array. I, I have no idea how to use this. Um, so yeah, I guess I need a moose. Um, I forgot to bring a moose down to the dungeon here. I don't think I've got one in a box. Um, yeah, I have to go back upstairs and get one. Oh. So what do we got? One processor, six total cores, hyper-threading, so it's not great. It's an E5-2620 at two gig. I don't think that's too spectacular, is it? Um, Anyway, HP SATA controller initializing. So, yeah, I mean, they, they tossed out a working server complete with uh, the radar array in it. Press 8 to continue. Copyright 2011. Wait, no, no. Broadcom. Extreme. HP Smart Array, 512 man, three logical drives, to a smart drive, right. Well, is it going to boot into anything? <laughs> no, I doubt it. FT for intelligent, intent in boot from CD, no, press any key, no, I'm sure, I think they, I, I think they wiped it. So, no! Windows. They threw it out with win uh, like a well it's windows nt server or something probably one of those you know servery jobbies they threw it out with windows on it have they deleted the wow okay i'm going to go get a moose you will notice though that um well <laughs> the fans um they're not oh there's a tiny little airflow tiny airflow there but they're basically gone silent so this thing is actually Oh no, I can hear it. Like it's, but it's not like jet engine like it was before. So Windows has obviously uh, told it, no, nah, come on, calm down. Joshua. It's Joshua. Oh, no way. I did that as a joke. It's Joshua. <laughs> Seriously, I, I tried the usual stuff. Password, God, admin. It's Joshua. Of course it's Joshua. Can't be that simple. Wow. We got something. Oh no, hang on. Oh, you bastard, it trolled me. So maybe I'll just reset password. I don't even know what version of uh, Windows I'm running. This feature requires removable media such as USB flash drive. Please connect USB flash drive and then try again. I don't, I don't know. I... But yeah, I know there are ways to bypass the um, admin password. And I think I did do a video on it once. Actually, I have to go watch my own video because I completely forget. But anyway, the damn thing works. This is interesting. One of the indicators on here is off. Um, does that mean that that driver's died? <laughs> Maybe we've got an IT person who has like no clue. I don't know, the lead went out. I don't know, let's toss it out. Get a new one. <laughs> Wait, well, hey, spinny spin. Oh no, see? Okay, so that one's spinny spinning. So, it, uh, it did that at the start as well. No, that fourth one down. That's FUBAR. And uh, yeah, the others are solid and then access and then oh, flishy flash, flishy flash. It's going through some power up routine. But yeah, interesting, huh? So I'm into the BIOS menu and uh, unfortunately the keyboard doesn't work 
at all. Well, the keyboard works, but it does nothing in the menu. So there's no moosey um, thing, so I don't know what the deal is there. Yeah. Anyway, um, 2013 vintage BIOS, so, you know, getting towards a decade old now. Okay, I'm loading intelligent provisioning now. Whatever that is, presumably like to set up the uh, storage array and stuff, like to provision the operating system onto it. I like from maybe a remote LAN or, I don't, yeah, I don't know. To reboot when done, okay. Ooh, isn't that fancy pantsy? Look at that. HP, Smart Storage Administrator is an application that allows you to configure, diagnose and manage smart storage devices attached to your server. Nice. <laughs> it's for, like, this is like, a, you know, servers for dummies. So, HP ProLine, this is our server, this is our smart array. So I guess, array, no, that's the array controller. Okay, so we've got the, this is the server. So can we click on that? Array Diagnostic Wear Gauge Guide, Diagnostic Report. Smart solid state, oh are these solid state drives? No, yeah, no, I, no solid state drives found, yeah of course. <laughs> I thought they were not. <laughs> Array diagnostic report. Oh, it's a, a 300 gig, okay. It's 300 gig, that's not exactly uh, terrific. Okay, non what's AC, identify what? I got no consolidated error logical drive. Don't know what all that is. Firmware has been upgraded. Oh geez, this is pretty comprehensive, isn't it? Very impressive. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I've I got no idea. Oh my god, look how long this rep diagnostic report is. Oh look, has that got like, like, like boot sector info or something? Oh, that's just insane. Wow, that is just, yeah, that's incredible. All right, well, obviously the array is good enough to work. It's good enough to have windows, so I don't know why um, that one is out there. Um, anyway, I'll, let me power it off. And the fourth one down, no, it has a drive in it. Yeah, but uh, either it's not provisioned, I guess. Um, it isn't included in there. I don't know, it did say something about two different arrays or something. I mean, yeah, there's only eight slots though, so yeah. Don't know what's going on, but um, there you go. Came with all the drives. It's got all the goodies. Unfortunately, it's only single processor. I don't think that Xeon's pretty good. I don't know, what does it go for on eBay? But, you know, I don't know. Let us know in the comments down below what, you, what do you think I should do with it. Obviously, like, it's like it's no use, right? It's absolutely huge. Um, it's not that loud if it's not actually doing stuff. Um, but, yeah, it's a power hog, of course. And the chassis just banged up on it. So, I don't know. <laughs> Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below what I should do with this thing. Um, I, I was thinking I'd just get the fans out of it. I like the hard drives are useless, obviously. Um, and just take the motherboard out and, I don't know, have it as a wall ornament down here in the dungeon. Maybe. I don't know. I could have a wall full of dumpster motherboards. That'd be pretty cool. Anyway, if you like the video and dumpster diving, please give it a big thumbs up. As always discussed down below, and I mentioned this on Twitter as well, let me know if you want me to do a dumpster compilation video. Like everything, like everything decent I've ever found in, or a crap, I've found in the dumpster over the years. Like, you know, some big montage video. I thought that'd be kind of cool. Anyway, let you know. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you next time.